Welcome magical creatures. This is Witch Bell and we are about to play Invisible Wings. It is another free stream game. Let's see. Resolution. It will not let me select. It says select full screen mode. Alrighty. <clears throat> Sorry, I have some congestion today. Let's see if I can. Because this sounds a bit loud. Then I lose my mouse. There we go. Perfect. Whoops, and then I just mess everything up. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> Still new to this streaming, so two monitors is one too many that my brain is not cooperating with. Okay. Let's try apply back <clears throat> and start playing. <laughs> Dawn is a fairy. No parent is ever going to want her. Hey, look, it's Dawn the Freak. <laughs> Are those tears? Do we make you cry, Dawn? Just drown in them, Dawn. Just like you and all those other fairies drown, burn, and kill everyone. What in the world? I... I'm not a fairy. No, I'm not a fairy. You should hear yourself. No wonder no one wants to adopt you. Please stop. Just leave me alone. People can be so cruel. Just because somebody's different. We'll never leave you alone, Dawn. Your species doesn't deserve any better. Look around you, Dawn. A house full of orphans. Children of humans. All because your species exists. Because you exist. Filthy hybrid. How is that her fault? She wasn't even born yet. And in a world where most people don't believe in magic or fairies, everyone is pretty much human, why it, it, we have orphans that aren't wanted just because there's not enough homes for them to go to or the people that are able, uh, that want to take them in are not financially stable to be able to take in a child. <laughs> no! No, please! It was a dream. Only a dream. <sighs> and what is that fluttering? I wouldn't be surprised if that sound keeps me awake. Huh? Hey, beauty. How did you come in? Aww. <laughs> well, what were you thinking, Dawn? It's not like butterflies can talk. That's the thing. She is talking to you. We just don't understand her language. Uh, normally, I'm not that big a fan of wings, but yours are very beautiful. Come, I'll open the window for you, but be careful outside, little one. I really need some more sleep. I have to work early, and I need all the energy I can get for my skating performance tonight. But this nightmare is so fresh in my mind. 
I think I might need some distraction to calm me down a bit. Click on objects to let Dawn interact with them. Um, does she have a tail? That is what that looks like. Okay. Ooh. It reads, give hybrids a chance in the fight against evil. Yeah, you go. It's good Arania has gone into politics. She always wants the best for hybrids and humans. That evil Arania is talking about are the fairies. Oh. In the media, you usually hear stories about humans who are killed by fairies, but never anything about hybrids, even if they're also victims, and maybe even more. But there are fairies being killed by humans and hybrids as well. How could you defend that? Politics. It's very noble that Arania is committed to this. I wouldn't be able to do this myself. Arania and I met even before the orphanage was renovated. Arania was the only hybrid in the home before I came there. It clicked immediately between us. No one wanted anything to do with you if you're a hybrid. And that makes sense in retrospect. Most children there became orphans because of the deeds of the fairies. Children came and went as time went by, but the two of us always stuck together in the house. After much hesitation, I finally enlisted for the regional figure skating competition. There are actually special conditions to join if you have, you know, a tail. But I don't want to join as a hybrid. I want to join as a human. Mm. But you being a hybrid makes you special. Each of us makes us special because none of us are anything like anybody else. But the way society makes us look at ourselves and judge ourselves is what makes it so difficult to love ourselves. If we can't love ourselves, how can we love anybody else first? Wow, I just discovered I haven't ridden for a long time. Anyway, today was a wonderful day, much unlike yesterday. My tail was hurting because I tucked it away too tight for a few days. So I decided to let that thing hang for once. Just a bit of rest and back into routine tomorrow, I thought. Never again. I know not everyone is caring, but it does feel like that. It feels like my tail is the only thing they see when they're looking at me. Like that's all that matters about me. But today was great. It was a bit cold, but for once I didn't mind. Extra layers of clothing to hide under. <laughs> mm, I agree. Another huge gap in my diary. I'm starting to get the idea that I only write when I'm stressed out. In a way, that isn't a bad sign. I mean, luckily, I'm not writing every day if that's the case. Next week is the regional contest, and actually, I'm getting quite excited for it. It's good to have some way of what's the word, of expressing yourself when you are stressed. Because a lot of people, they'll just tell you to suck it up, or they'll tell you to get over it, or there's nothing that stressful about life. Come on. Everybody else deals with it. But no, it affects each of us differently because our bodies are all chemically different from each other. Can I take back the things I wrote yesterday? Although I'm excited for the competition, I'm starting to feel more and more nervous as well. There was a beautiful butterfly in my room in the middle of the night. Its wings were really stunning, even though I myself would absolutely never want to have wings. I'm not superstitious, but I think that butterfly was a good sign. I'm getting better at tucking my tail before I go skating. I'll have to do it without the help of Arania for the first time today, but I'm sure I'll manage. Butterflies are very beautiful, and a, a lot of um, different places and different religions, butterflies are seen as a good omen, 
just like dragonflies, if they land in your garden, then you're going to have a bountiful harvest. Just depends on the different background you grew up with. My most precious possession. I saved for months to buy these, and I was lucky they went on sale just before I went to the store. I have never skated a performance on any other skate. Kaelin is such a stunning city at night. All those lights are so beautiful. Okay, anything else I can click on? Ooh, clock. Only six hours until my alarm goes off again. Ooh, I know that feeling. Tomorrow I have to work early in the bookstore. That the second part of the regional figure skating competition is held tonight. It promises to be an exciting competition, certainly because the number of contestants this year is higher than normal. Thanks a lot, Manya. We'll open this hour with a piece of music by the Buck Boys. Enjoy! <laughs> that certainly didn't calm me down. There's a lot of competition indeed, but I'm sure I'm ready for this. Let's see, I think I've clicked on everything. Still want to click on those posters behind her. Lesson on the bed, floor, trash can. Maybe I click on her? No, that goes directly to the window. I'm really happy that I live in Kalen. I think a big city like this is as safe as it can get for a hybrid. So she says different things when you click on it a second time. It reads, give hybrids a chance in the- It's good Arania has gone into that evil in the media. You, you, even if they're also victims. But there are fairies being killed by humans and it's very noble that- a Well, maybe not on everything. Just the window. Wait, that one has- Oh, okay. It has a cross through it. The photo doesn't, though. And neither do the skates. Okay, so there's certain things you can click on a second time. I used to look up to Arania. Maybe I secretly still do. She really feels like a big sister. There's no one who ever protected me besides Arania. After all, we do have quite a lot in common. Arania never tells a lot about how her parents died. Only that the rumors are correct. That fairies are dangerous, and we must stay away from them. Um, well, that also depends on your background you grew up in, too. Because, like, in Ireland, the good people, as they're preferred to be called, um, can do both good and bad. It depends on how they see you treat them and how you treat others. And a lot of others, and the, they get a bad rap with fairy tales, um, like the Brothers Grimm versions. Um, and in others, like Winx Club and similar stories, they're a fighting justice for good. So it all depends on where you come from. Say when you never met one yourself. Unless you are one, then you've met one every time you looked in the mirror. But if they really were that murderous, why haven't they already killed all of Kaelin? Because it's just a stereotype, Dawn. Every competition is making me quite nervous, but I always look forward to them as well. I've trained for months with Arania. So I think I'm good for now. Okay, so that has something. Oh, okay, everyone has a mark through it, so I've exasperated all conversations on it. Now I can go back to bed. I think it's wise to get some more sleep. Come on! 
work with me for once. Don, are you okay? Arania! Oh, thank Elif you're here. Of course I am. Do you feel confident about this? <sighs> Don? My stupid tail won't cooperate. I can't tuck it away properly. If they find out I have a tail, they'll disqualify me right away. Oh, I'm sure they won't. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Isn't this whole thing about how well you can skate? Besides, your tail is a part of you, Dawn. You can't live without it, just as you can't live without your legs. I appreciate your comment, Arania. I hate to tell her, but there are many people that live without her, their legs. She just haven't hasn't met them yet. So that's actually, uh, how did I put it? Something she should experience. That way she can see that there are a lot of things people can do without all of the limbs that a lot of us are born with. Um, for instance, when I worked at Mosaic, I worked with a, um, I can't remember if she was a nurse or if she was a tech, but she had just a stub for her, I, I don't know a, a proper way of saying that, for her left side. And she did everything more than a lot of the others did. So you can absolutely, without having all the normal uh, digits and stuff as most people have. You can absolutely shine. Every time I see that tail, I think about where it came from and how I don't want to be associated with that. Sorry, I understand. Also, things aren't about what I think right now. It's all about you. Come on, let me help you. Take your skates so we can put them on as well. Click on objects to let Dawn interact with them. Interact with your tail. Understand it is a part of you. And work with it, not against it. Ooh, she has one too. See? She lets hers out in the open. Come on, Dawn. Look at you. Nothing to see anymore. I really don't know where I would be without you, Arania. I thought you wouldn't come. You should be at your demonstration. I, I had to, but now I'm here. But your protest... ...is less important than your competition. Aww. Then I hope you didn't come for nothing. I don't know if I can do this. Don't be so silly. Of course you can. Besides, I think the contest is about to start. So we don't even have time to think about whether you can do it or not. Hmm. <laughs> You're just going to nail this. Don't think about it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. That's right. Our second <laughs> last contestant is Lilith. She gained 66.26 points for her short program. Give her a warm applause. So far, everyone skated very well, but I think I may have a chance against them. Positive thinking. I'm curious on how this Lilith performs. Wow, that was bizarre. What an opening. My dear, she, she is really good. That jump and this spin? That's, wait, are those wings? No, that's impossible. Wings and a tail. Yes, they really are. Why haven't I seen them before? Now I can understand how she makes such high jumps. With those wings, it's a piece of cake. Not always. Just because you have an extra or something doesn't make things... Like if you had an extra finger, it does not make it 
easier to write just because you have an extra one. Well, you're putting a stereotype on her. That if she has something that you don't, then that must be the reason. She has uh, more name brand skate. She has a fancier outfit. She has a necklace that you don't have on. performance and let's look at the score don't listen Don it doesn't matter what she scored you can do this yes be yourself and enjoy what you like for her free skate Lilith gains 127.97 points <sighs> you can do this you can do this you're not going to lose to a fairy hate to tell you yeah but you're one too sweetie that makes a total score of 194.23 points. This means that Lilith is currently first in line. Congratulations. Stay calm, Don. And now, on to our last contestant for the Lady Single Skaters, Dawn. Good luck. 67.82 for her short program. Give her an applause. All right. <sighs> Don. Just stay calm and don't let yourself get distracted. I always nail this part. Yes, that couldn't have gone better. Oh, that could have been better. I'd better move on. Hey, there's that fairy again in the audience, and her wings are still flickering. <sighs> Just continue, Don. Just try to avoid that fairy. Arr! I can't focus with that fairy around. <sighs> All right, this is my chance. If this jump works out, I'll definitely win this competition. That fall still hurts a little. Why is this taking so long? What are the judges discussing up there? After a brief discussion, the judges have decided that Dawn unfortunately has been disqualified. It's stated clearly in the safety regulations that contestants must indicate they bear a tail. In that way, the organization and contestant can decide on a solution for this problem together. No, no, please. That's not fair! Didn't you see that? This means that Lilith is the winner of the competition for Lady Singles! Congratulations! No way! Lilith just won! Piece of cake if you've been distracting the others. I knew it! I knew this was doomed to fail! Nothing good ever happens when fairies are involved! Especially one that tries to distract me with her flickering wings. It certainly isn't my fault that... Hello? Is Dawn here? Yes, I'm here. I saw your performance. You're really talented. It's totally unjustified that they disqualified you. In my opinion, you weren't acting unsafe at all. Personally, I think your tail is very... You! You don't have any right to have an opinion about my tail! So shut your mouth! This is all your fault! Do you have any idea how hard I had to work to get here? How long I dreamt about this moment just so you could sabotage me and walk away with the prize? Do you know how embarrassing it is to lose to a fairy? Who do you think you are? But... 
Oh, you know what I'm talking about. You and those flickering wings of yours ruined my entire performance. How am I supposed to focus with those things distracting me, huh? I... I'm sorry. I didn't know you could see my wings. I didn't mean to distract you at all. No, of course you didn't. Just like you didn't mean to come talk to me afterwards just to rub your victory in my face. I... Just leave me alone. Ugh. Don, are you all right? Don? <laughs> oh, Don. I should have known that hiding that thing wasn't enough. It was the only thing we could do. But her wings, Arania. Those things were flickering. She's a fairy, and she won. That's not fair, is it? She shouldn't have been allowed to participate at all with those wings. What wings are you talking about? The wings of that fairy who won the contest, and whom I was arguing with moments ago. I didn't see any wings, Dawn. You're not going to tell me that I'm imagining things. They really were flickering. I couldn't focus on my performance anymore. <laughs> what if Lilith really had no wings? I said such ugly things to her, Arania. She just came to tell me that she was impressed by my performance. What if she wasn't a fairy at all? Wait, you really think she's a fairy? If she really is, you have a very different problem now, Dawn. And you know that yourself as well. I'm really not in the mood for a lecture, Arania. I'm dead serious, Dawn. Stay away from fairies. They are dangerous. If Lilith really is a fairy, and she knows who you are now, and if you offended her, you have a way bigger problem than this skating competition. She has the same human emotions as everybody else. Just because she's different doesn't make her dangerous. I think that might not be so bad. There hasn't been any incident in weeks. Except things really are that bad. You must think before you act, Dawn. Forget my whole just do it thing. You're not supposed to endanger yourself. To me, she didn't look like a murderer at all. She came to say hi and told me that she thought I skated well. That isn't how murderers act, is it? No, not yet. But you'll think differently about that when you're burning alive just because you shook her hand. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not making things better, am I? I thought she was supposed to be supporting people, well, hybrids at least. But why would you support one but not all? I think we're both a bit upset right now, and you must be ready for some rest. I think you may need some as well. Yeah, I suppose I do. Well, let's meet at Maze tomorrow morning. That way we can both take our time to rest and continue talking there. Yes. That sounds like a plan. See you tomorrow. Wow, that was an emotional roller coaster. I wonder why it's taking Arania so long to arrive. Hopefully she won't be drenched by the time she gets here. All right. Click on objects to let Dawn interact with them. Ooh, that's beautiful. Ooh, what is she supposed to interact with? Oh, there we go. It hasn't rained this much in a long time. What a contrast to that lovely spring day yesterday. I've heard the new fruitcake Elena has been baking is amazing. I think I might try that for breakfast today. Ooh, delicious. Okay, that's cross through, that's cross through. Hmm, what could this be? Wing cutter strikes again. 
The mysterious wing cutter took a new life last night. Their latest victim, a 23 year old fairy, was found dead a few blocks from the local mall this morning. Her body was covered in scratches, and her wings have seemed to be removed violently. The authorities <sighs> are still without any leads and call to all humans, fairies, and hybrids to report anything unusual. Goodness. Ugh, that's a terrible thought. Wow, that's horrible. I thought you hated fairies, though. It's just. I'm just so done with this violence. It only causes pain. It doesn't solve anything. 100% agree. No one deserves to be killed because of the way they were born. Not even fairies. Poor girl. I hope all this mudslinging will come to a halt soon. It takes so many innocent lives of humans, hybrids, and fairies as well. It will never end. It's just something inbred in us that we don't like something unusual. Shall I call her over? Hey, Urania! Hello, Dawn. Did you sleep well last night? Yeah, surprisingly well. What about you? I've had better nights, but I had quite some time to think about things. So did I. I've come to the conclusion that there's only one thing I can do after what happened yesterday. Sign up for another skating competition? Hmm. All right. Maybe there are two options. <laughs> so tell me. I have to find Lilith and apologize to her. Dawn? Wait. Let me explain, all right? So imagine, Lilith really is a fairy. That would mean she hit her wings and tail with some kind of magic. And maybe she could help me do the same. If she isn't a fairy, and I was just seeing things, then she really deserves an apology. I was so rude to her, and she just came by to say hello. Don, you know how I feel about this. But isn't this about how I feel about it, Arania? Do you ever think about the consequences your actions have for me, as your friend? Yes, of course, but... But what? I thought the whole reason for you to hide that tale of yours was to not become associated with the fairies. Then what in heaven's name makes you want to search for a fairy? Because it's the right thing to do to apologize when a wrong has been committed. You don't understand, Arania. Then explain to me, Don. I really want to understand, but I just don't get it. Your anger clouds your judgment. <sighs> All my life, I've hated myself, okay? Where I came from. What that did to the people around me. All that senseless violence. All that pain. I never was able to do anything about that. Besides, I don't think that was supposed to be my job at all. But yours. I'm not made for politics. And I... I don't know. It's probably stupid. Dawn. There's nothing right about that tale. That thing has to go away, Arania. And anyone who looks at it can tell that I tried. The scars speak for themselves. Oh, I'm just now seeing them. But it never works out. And I always fail, and fail, and fail. And every time I look in the mirror, I am still able to see it. That... that appendix. It doesn't belong to me, and it never will. I don't want to be a hybrid or a fairy. I just want to be a human. And I know that's impossible, but I can at least try and pretend. Do you understand? Pretending doesn't change the fact of who you are. I think so. And I hope you also understand that if I meet someone who can solve this for me, I want to take this opportunity with both hands, even if that means taking a huge risk, because I don't think I can handle this much longer. Uh, Don, why have you never told me that you felt so desperate? You didn't see the signs? They're pretty obvious, Arania. I just didn't want you to have more on your mind. I need to know about these things, Don, so I can... So you can what? 
You can't fix everything, Arania. <sighs> yes, I know. True. So what would you do in my case? How do you want to solve this? Because I'm open to all suggestions you have. I... Just what I thought. Look, I know this sounds complicated and scary to you. If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't want you to do this either. But you must understand, I'll be very careful. You're my bestest friend. I don't think I can live without you, Dawn. Aww. And you don't have to. I'll be fine, I promise. Ugh. I mean it. I don't want to hurt you. But I just have to do this for my own well-being. I beg you, Dawn. Please don't do this. It may feel difficult for now, but this is not the solution you're looking for. Arania. I promise you, I'll do everything I can to help you with your tale. And I'll do everything to keep you safe. Please, promise me you're not going to chase this fairy. I can't. I beg you. <sighs> Wait, I got it. I have connections with people who are a part of the authorities, in politics, in the city, wherever. What if I ask them to keep an eye out for Lilith and warn me if they see her? And I'll keep an eye out myself. And then? If we find her, I'll go to her with someone else and figure something out. But will you be safe then? <laughs> me? I'll be safe and sound. I didn't take two lessons in self-defense for nothing. <laughs> ah. But it doesn't feel right to sit still and let you do all the work. Self-defense classes cannot save you from everything. A bullet will definitely take care of the problem. Or a knife. Or a brick. Or something. Self-defense will not always protect you. It can help. But it won't be in the movies where it saves the day. Of course you can keep an eye out as well. But please don't confront her alone. For now, go home and get some rest. I'd love to go with you, but I have some other things to do first. What kind of things? Oh, you know, just solving some issues here and there. Oh, all right. Good luck, I suppose. Wait, now you want her to be 100% honest, open and honest with you, but you're not going to do the same to her? And you're going home? I'm going home. Good, thanks. See you later. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe Arania is right. Although, I don't think Lilith is dangerous. At least, she didn't look dangerous. A lot of people don't look dangerous, but they can be very dangerous when cornered. Besides, if she is a murderer, she probably would have killed me immediately yesterday. I gave her every reason to. I think it might be time for the lunch menu soon. So typical. My coat is completely dry, but it's still raining cats and dogs outside. There's those scars she was talking about. I want to talk about this plant. That is so pretty. They're everywhere. I think I'll be heading home then. Shall I go outside? Yes. Ugh, two steps outside and I'm soaked to the bone again. I'd better get home, quickly. Not when it tells me to click on objects so you can interact with them. I'm going to take my time. One, two, three, four. It all looks so delicious, but I don't need anything now. Crossed out. I just came from there. May's place has been there for as long as I can remember. I hope it will never go away as well. And Elena is the best hostess of Kalen for sure. I 
heard this place is a very good fish restaurant. It may even be the best in town, but it's also super expensive. Huh? Isn't that... Yes, it's Lilith! Quick, I have to hide! See? Her wings really are flickering. I knew it. She is a fairy! Okay, okay. This is okay. This is fine. I think she hasn't seen me yet. Maybe I can talk... No. I promised Arania. I didn't promise anything to Arania. I only said that I would go home. But honestly, how dangerous can it be? It is broad daylight. People get killed in broad light daylight too, Dawn. Even if she was a murderer, she would never act upon it so openly, would she? She looks quite sad, by the way. I hope she isn't that upset about what I said to her yesterday. For someone who has won the skating competition, she certainly doesn't look right. It can't hurt to apologize to her. No, she disappeared. I think she went into that alley. I have to find her. I don't care what Arania tells me. Lilith deserves my apology. Maybe she'll want to help me once we get to know each other. Shall I follow Lilith? Mm, I want to look at the bookstore real quick. The best bookstore in Kaelin, if you ask me. But that's easily said when you work there. <laughs> Not to mention, Mink is certainly the best employer ever. It's about time that I collect some new books. Mink always allows me to read her books at home and return them if they're undamaged. But lately, I've been so occupied with skating that I haven't had much time to read. Today the bookstore is closed, but I'd love to hop in another time for sure. Now it's crossed off. Wow. That's super pretty. This is... I've never seen something so beautiful like this. There's Lilith. Should I get her attention? Not yet. Look around first. Now or never, Dawn. You didn't follow her for nothing. Whoops. <clears throat> Who? Oh. You. Hi. I... Uh, yes. I wanted to... To chase me down and yell at me even more? Haven't you said enough already? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry about yesterday. You only came by to talk to me. It was rude to fall out to you. Yes, it sure was. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have entered the competition at all. It was a bit unfair. No, no, you're actually very good. And I understand. I, myself, wasn't allowed to join either. But I did, so I see why you entered as well. I'm so sorry for being so ugly to you. Thanks, but I understand. Really, you're not the first and certainly not the last person to fall out to me like that. I seem to have that effect on people. Lilith, I... But you're the first who came to apologize. I appreciate that a lot. I'd rather tell you that I wasn't touched by your words, but they did hurt. I didn't mean it. Really? Because I don't think they came out of nowhere. I think that, you know, everyone is always afraid of me because I have a tail, and they think I'm a fairy. Then you appear, and nobody is afraid. Everyone applauds for you, but all they do is avoid me and be scared. I don't think you're scary. <laughs> no, of course not. What do you mean? You're a fairy. One touch and I'm dead. Why for heaven's sake would you be afraid of me? It certainly isn't true that everything I touch dies. If you were so afraid of that, why did you follow me in the first place? Besides, I heard that hybrids are also quite capable of killing. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm just a little tense. <laughs> What's the matter? Sorry. 
But I don't understand how someone with your kind of magic can be tempt. And certainly not in a place like this. What, the Haven? Is that what this is? More or less. Is this the first time you're here? I've lived in Kaelin my whole life, and I've never heard about this place before. Crazy proposal. But eh, I just am a little crazy. But would you like me to show you around? <laughs> well, that actually sounds fun. So many more people would get along if they set aside the differences they have with each other and actually looked at what they had in common. Yay! <laughs> it surprises me that you've never heard about the Haven. It's in the middle of the city. Well, it's not like it's signposted everywhere. <laughs> of course not, silly. But you're just like me, aren't you? In what sense? Well, you have magic as well, right? The Haven is only accessible for magical beings. Eh? As far as I know, I don't... Huh? Really? I would know if I had any magic. Wait... You don't know anything about the magic of hybrids? Come on, I'll take you to someone who can explain. Are you coming with me? Shall I go with Lilith? Yes. The more we understand, the less we are afraid. As long as I'm careful, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go with her. Congratulations, you have finished the demo of Invisible Wings. You've helped on very well, but she still has a long way to go. With your help, the rest of the story can be realized, and you can continue this adventure together with Dawn, Lilith, and Dorania. We're not going to spoil anything, but there are still a lot of surprises for them. Ooh, so that was only the demo that is free. I like that they are starting to understand each other better. Because that's one of the main reasons why there is so much conflict, is people don't want to listen to what the other side has to say. They just automatically assume, because it is different, it is bad. Like, for instance, I grew up in a Puritan Baptist uh, home. I was an only child. I lived out in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the country. So I had no neighbors for miles. Uh, there was probably some within screaming distance, but none that I could actually communicate with. Um, my own only socializing was with uh, people at school, and a lot of them were Catholic. Others were Baptist, but they were... Um, they went to pre-K, they went to church, they had friends over. Um, we had one Jewish person. It was mainly all white people. Um, we had one Mexican person and one black person at different times. But it was very stereotypical um, evangelist territory. And so we were taught that witches were bad and that socialism was going to destroy the world and Democrats were evil, Republicans were the nice people. None of that's true. Everyone is human. Managers aren't more superior than workers. CEOs aren't better than managers. Uh, Baptists aren't better than Jews. Uh, Catholics aren't uh, better than the uh, whatever the other religion is down the street. It, it's all the same. These buildings are all brick and mortar. We are all human flesh. We eat the same. We breathe the same. We go to the bathroom the same. Everything is the same. But there is something that we've been taught at a young age. That we are better than those people over there. Because they are different. 
and so they do things wrong or evil or they're corrupt uh, and they're trying to corrupt you but it's just all in our heads we psych ourselves up that wonderful we're better than somebody else but we're not and I hope that more of this game gets deeper into that fact that differences are just differences we are who we are we should be proud of who we are and embrace our differences um, there are kids that were not able to weren't born with legs or weren't born with hands but the technology is there for them to still be able to play video games and they can kick our butts with people that are are quote unquote normal um, like the tech I told you about she doesn't have both full arms and hands but she is able to do more and care more than the people that are that have both arms and hands in her profession um, there are people that are born with everything and then at some point in life they get gangrene they're they get shot they have some kind of other infection or like diabetes that your toes have to be cut off or your whole foot or your leg um, like I have carpal tunnel it makes it a lot more complicated for me to do certain things and I can't hold certain things or a certain weight but that doesn't keep me from functioning it just limits certain things I can do but then I'm better in other things when I'm able to do projects when my hands aren't hurting I'm able to do projects that other people that have no problems are not able to do because they don't have the patience they don't have the um, precision they don't uh, they're not capable of learning because of how they were raised everything was fast and get everything done at once and poof and it's done where a project it takes hours days months um, maybe even a year to do a project and it takes a lot of practice and there are people that just don't have that ability to do that practice due to what they're capable of with their hands or their mind their eyes there we all have different abilities not one makes any one better than anybody else and this is a good example of showing how bad the biases are at the beginning where she thinks all fairies are evil and gonna kill you but she just wants to be normal too just like she's a hybrid and she wants to be normal the main thing is you want to be treated like everybody else despite you have wings you have a tail you have one less limb you have one extra limb your hair is bright red or green or purple compared to a natural black it's just this is who you decide to be who you are and you want people to accept you as that and this game I feel like where it's leading so far is a good example of how to become more informed with everybody else around us that we can understand them and realize that those stereotypes are wrong and they just divide us instead of bringing us closer together I hope you enjoyed watching this demo and playing the demo with me um, maybe at some point I can find the full game and I would like to play through the rest of this and hopefully you'll be there with me 
remember that each and every one of us is special the way we are. None of us are chemically, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually made like anybody else. Be who you are. Be proud of who you are. Love yourself before you try to love anybody else. And you'll be a lot happier person. Thank you, beautiful creatures. Have a great day.